G'day, this is Captain Noob, and in this video I'm going to be examining the power of the Strangler Heart Power Armor set that you can get from the Vault 94 raids. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time actually explaining how to get this thing. It has been well documented already, so we'll just get right into it and show off the armor set. Here it is. I've got a couple of mods on this thing, but taking a quick look at this, many people have probably already seen it before, but if you haven't, I'll quickly go around. As you can tell, it is Ultrasight Power Armor, which looks pretty cool, but it's covered in vines which makes it look very messy. If you want to do a PvP with complete camo, I guess you can hide in a bush and blend right in, but then you'll have the little Dorito above your head and they'll find you anyway and kill you with a Tesla and or Legacy Plasma Weapon. But anyways, I've got a couple of interesting mods on this, so uh, let's go ahead and go right through them. So this is just one of the arms, and you can tell from the set bonus that adds acid damage to all armed attacks. And Nearby enemies take acid damage, which we'll take a look at in just a second, but first, the armor bits. This one is just braces with the strangler heart paint, and the paint slot can be changed to anything we want, which we'll be changing um, once I get through this section here, but I've got both calibrated legs. Um, that's just for carry weight bonuses. That's what I usually run on power armor anyway. And we've got a jet pack on this one, which is an arm, because the ultra sight power armor allows you to put jet packs anywhere, because... I don't know. Bitch about it all you want in the comments, Bethesda's not fixing this for a while. And you've also got the protocol chest, which is what I'd have for blade builds, and yeah, it's got all these vines and crap over it, the leaves and everything. And then you've got the sensing helmet. Normally I'd go for bats targeting matrix, but sensing helmet will give us extra perception anyway, which will do the same thing, I guess. But yeah, that's basically going over it. Anyways, I'm going to slap some new paint on this. Be back. Ah, yes, much better. The fruits of my labor has finally been rewarded in changing this ugly, viney piece of crap into a, a shiny red power armor thing that is law-breaking. Yay! So anyways, so taking a look at the power armor torso of the Ultrasight variety, we've got 113, 98, and 98, and going over to the uh, protocol one, looks like we get a little bit more radi radiation resistance, which is useful for the Vault Raids, which is interesting. If we go over to the X01 power armor here, it's actually beating that, which is interesting because normally X01 would be the highest rad resistance, so there you go. You've got extra rad resistance on your side, which is interesting. Okay, so taking a quick look at all of our resistances combined, we've got 455, 395, and 500 ballistic energy and radiation resistance, respectively. And if we step into my older power armor, you get 400, 455, and 453 ballistic energy and radiation damage, respectively. The uh, I think the uh, energy damage is a lot higher, but it pales in comparison to what benefits we get out of ballistic, which honestly is what most enemies are going to attack you with. And radiation, especially useful for running around in nuke zones. Okay, so here I am in my shiny new power armor of defeating cheaters in nuclear winter, and you can see we get some sort of extra thing from the strangler heart. Acid damage plus 4 per second nearby enemies, and acid damage plus 50. So this is obviously enemies around you, and you do 50 acid damage when shooting stuff. That's damage over time, which is interesting. Now, it's not poison damage, so it's not going to get you know, resisted by any given enemy. It's acid damage, the kind of stuff that you'd see out of a Mylurk Queen, which what I believe is pretty much... Ooh, okay, we're, we're killing stuff here. Now, I've started from the very bottom here. These guys are the first things you'll encounter in Fallout 76. And... I mean, it's killing them, but it's, it's slow. And you do have to be very close. So, okay. Um, we'll quickly finish off this last one over here, which we can get through a wall, which is very amusing, but yeah. Um, Alright. So it can defeat trash mobs, sure, but... Uh, We'll step it up a little bit. We'll find some, perhaps, low-level super mutants. Alright, looks like we've got some low-level super mutants, so just let me fly up to them. You know, they fixed the jetpacks, which is good. And here's the breaking point. It's not really all that useful. Now, there's a couple of things to note when using this power armor like this. Obviously, when you go near someone, no matter what you do, you're going to knock off some of their health, meaning the instant... Shut up, Grafton Mare! I don't... I'm talking. But 
yeah, um, what happens is you'll lose the instigating legendary effect if you have something like a melee weapon. So you get an instigating pole hook, you're gonna lose that, you're gonna lose your two times damage multiplier, which is a problem. And I'm thinking that if you can outpace the damage by gun bashing them, yeah, that's when it becomes useful. So, honestly, this is just kind of a novelty thing, and in PvP, that's not gonna cut it either, because any anyone's gonna shoot you, even with a basic pipe gun is gonna kill you faster than what you can kill them. Unless they're... and there's no assassin sentinel nonsense anymore where they can completely be invisible if they stand there, so you can't stand next to them and dissolve them with what I assume is body odor. Maybe the... maybe the, um... Strangler Heart Power Armor doesn't actually smell too good and that's what kills them, but uh... Yeah, it doesn't seem very effective at all. But of course, there's always the uh, bullets thing, but you know, I'm gonna save that for something a little bit more dangerous than low level super mutants. Alright, now to test the damage over time when you hit something, which is uh, what I believe is every time you hit something, it'll give them an extra 50 damage over time. It'll also give them this weird poison acid effect that you saw on nearby enemies when we got near them and this has been known to completely screw over people especially doing queen fights because that for some reason doesn't stop stacking i haven't seen the health ball whatsoever it's, it's going down slowly shoot him some more there we go so we're seeing a little bit of damage over time there and from what i know it's just it can it just stacks over itself indefinitely so you can just keep on piling on bullets and Surely the damage over time eventually will make some pretty good damage. Not a lot of things will stand up to that sort of thing unless it's like a Scorch Beast Queen which will take hundreds and hundreds of bullets and I'm guessing all of that extra effect of um, uh, that extra poison particle effect or acid particle effect that is added each time when you fire it, it causes people to crash on certain cards but as you can tell my computer is very strong and uh, doesn't really have a problem with that. Although I'm, I'm probably being a little bit over the top when I say that because that was fairly benign. I couldn't have stacked more than 10, 12 um, stacks of that extra damage over time. But you know, it doesn't seem all that worth it when it comes to using this thing against regular mobs. Because let me let me show you the weapon I've got. This is one of the most this is one of the highest DPS weapons of the game, and I definitely killed the Queen faster with this thing than any other weapon that I've got. Although the Queen did good behavior and got kind of stuck, allowing me to mag dump its head heaps of times. But, um, yeah, this thing will kill stuff much quicker. And you got to remember that this this power armor set takes ages to farm. I mean, the, the um, armor paint is longer, but that's different. But, yeah, it, it takes so long to farm that the benefits you get out of it almost seem negligible by comparison because what are you getting? A little bit of extra resistance here and there. If I was using X01, I'd be a lot better in terms of energy resistance, which you know, could be useful, but I think the radiation resistance is fairly useful because nuke zones and everything, and especially inside the vault where you'll be taking quite a lot of rads when you go around, but I don't know. I feel like it's kind of negligible and the way that um, the, def the f defense numbers work in this game, as you get higher and higher up, it'll just kind of have diminishing returns. So whether it actually means something to you to have that extra, I don't know, a couple hundred here and there in terms of damage resistance is up to you. But if you don't feel like grinding, you could always just grab X01 plans from the Enclave base, provided you've made it that far through the game and you get decent stats from those things alone and the mods are easy to find too all you need to do is spend caps at that vendor so it's really a time thing if you don't feel like getting yourself a little bit more of a bonus and want to play the game more outside of the vault raids which i wouldn't blame you if you didn't like all that much then yeah you could actually do you could do pretty well with this but i'd for some, I just don't think it justifies the amount of time and effort it is farming this thing, unless you want to show it off to people, but a lot of people will say, take that helmet off or something, take an armor bit off, because I'm going to crash if you keep shooting at the queen when that happens, which is a shame, because, I don't know, Bethesda won't fix it, but still. Yeah, there's a lot of drawbacks to this when compared to very basic power armors that are easily obtained. Alrighty, don't think I wouldn't Scorch Beast Queen test this thing, and 
yeah, it's been a it's been a rough fight so far, and she's healed up, so I'm going again. And there's fog around, so right now I'm using a bloodied explosive Gatling plasma. Really, where was that to, Queen? Now there's a crab around, which is annoying. Um, he needs to go because he'll give you damage over time. I hate crabs in this so much. Fuck off, you bastard. So I guess we're gathering adrenaline right now. There's Barbara, Norway Glory. And we're being attacked by other things, but I'm sure we can... Would you fucking reload? Holy Christ. Now, I could drop my camp here, but that's cheap. I don't want to do that. Just get out of it, mate. Don't even bother. So, we'll just keep on hitting him. Since there's so many projectiles blowing out of this, you can tell she looks like dirt now. It looks like there's a bunch of dirt surrounding her. She's completely stuck. And even my computer, despite me saying before that this thing, yeah, she right, mate, she right, don't have to worry about that. Um, it is slowing down, and that is just because of the immense particles being drawn, which dissipated just now, but she's kind of in a position where she just sits there and takes it. And we'll stop firing at her now, see if the health bar still drops. Yep, it's still going down. Now, provided you can get yourself a Gatling Plasma of some description, I'm being shut out by crabs right now. I'll crouch so they can't hit me. They can still hit me. Go away. Just fuck off. There we go. So, as you can tell with this setup, you can just absolutely annihilate her. Whoops, that was not... that was unintentional. Um, you can absolutely annihilate her health bar, but the problem is that you put so many of those um, effects out there that you're going to crash anybody who has a lesser PC. And let me just quickly repair this bad boy. Um, Barbara is going off and attacking something else. I can't see a bloody thing because of fog, but regardless of that, we'll quickly try to reload this. I think I've neglected to suck on a rank of luck reload, but I'm really glad that the jetpacks are working now. Like, that's the only thing that the latest patch fixed. I'm going to have to keep on reloading this in first track and I keep getting staggered out of it. But, yeah, I, I can finally see the use of this thing. Trouble is, particles are everywhere, and you can have a bad time if you actually want to use this thing in a group where, like I said, lesser PCs are in the equation. You can tell the damage I'm slightly coming into range as the thing is coming closer. I'm actually getting the 11 damage rather than the 7 I was getting before. But look at that. The health is draining quite nice, nicely now. And yeah, it is, it's, it's probably easy to see that I'll be using my Strangleheart power armor. Nice one, by the way. I just got outplayed by the Queen. But I'm going to be using it for the foreseeable future. Now, since she is still taking that little bit of extra damage, I wonder if it doesn't really matter so much if I die. Because technically she's taking damage and that won't let her heal, right? Here we go again with uh, basically another full mag dump. My frames just drop so much. It's getting a little bit too much. If I turn away, back to normal. If I look back, there. And as you can tell, her health is dropping so fast. Um, legacy weapons are broken. I'm just going to keep on shooting with this because uh, I like this one better. I feel like you get better DPS out of it. Less damage over time. Oh, where do you think you're going, Cleanie? You go into hell, that's where you're going. And she's given me a bloody boxing glove. But what else, I wonder? Alright, so in, the, in case I do lose my flux, I'm going to... Oh, okay, just a regular bloodied one. Oh no, it's the doggo of staggering death. That's annoying. So, despite all of my earlier things saying it's only negligibly higher damage resistance, it's so hard to get, you can see the real actual use of the, the massive damage over time that you can stack on the queen, especially when you've got something as high rate of fire. So, in conclusion, this thing is definitely worth farming for, and it's a little out of context now that I'm wearing the nuclear winter power armor, but still... This power armor is definitely some of the most, most powerful gear in the game, and yeah, 
I would highly recommend farming it if you've got the time. And it's worth learning the vault raids. It might be something different if you're um, sick of just farming regular mobs in the, in the outer world. Maybe you get a couple of friends together and figure it out. I'm going to die if I don't take a stim pack and lose all my flux. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys.